No festivals, parties, or big clouds of smoke this 420, the unofficial holiday celebrating marijuana. Illinois first legalized. Yeah, but with the stay at home order in place and limited access to dispensaries, CBS 2's Tara Molina learned changes to the cannabis industry aren't unique to today. This dispensary, the first in the River North neighborhood, was set to open and start serving customers weeks ago. We learned COVID-19 slowed that process, has delayed that opening, and for those that are still up and running, it has totally changed the way they operate. It's not the 420 scene many expected months ago when this this and this legalized in Illinois. No pot parties, rallies or events. Just a reminder to stay home from the city and the state. First year of legalization in Illinois, this would have been a very different celebration had uh, the COVID pandemic not hit. Jason Arakis with Cresco Labs behind Sunnyside Dispensaries. Okay, where recreational orders have moved online. A customer gets a ticket with the time to pick up. A lot of the stores in Illinois have limited space capacity, so we're taking orders online, but we have typically the same capacity we have any other day with the amount of people we can get through uh, the door, the amount of orders we can take. Some of those orders, bigger now. He says some are choosing to stock up. I think the numbers uh, month to month will continue to be steady. I checked in with the state and the city on that and the tax revenue they get from orders like these. They say it's too early to tell how April's numbers will stack up. Statewide sales in March totaled more than 35 million. Still unclear if COVID-19 could affect the 28 million Governor J.B. Pritzker estimated the state will collect in taxes, 3.5 million for the city of Chicago. Governor J.B. Pritzker signed an executive order extending the application process for some recreational cannabis business licenses because of COVID-19. That deadline is coming up, though, April 30th. For CBS2, I'm Tara Molina.